Good morning. Uh, you know, I want to talk about something very important to to me, and it has to do with uh, uh, the information that we receive on uh, WhatsApp and, uh, new, and the newspapers about um, the collaborating political parties in Liberia uh, withdrawing from the collaboration they had to defeat Judge. We, I think, one of the reasons is to defeat Judge. We are in this. Um, in the upcoming presidential ele presidential uh, elections in 2023, and my my, my thing yeah, as a as a uh, outsider, you know, it puzzles me a lot to see that uh, most of the political parties, the collaborative political party, most of most of them, whom I uh, have not or were not able to win two percent in the national elections. For the past four elections, 2017, no, 1997, uh, 2005, 11, and then they just go elections that join we are won. Most of the political parties that are in the so called uh, collaborating political parties were not able to win anything in these elections. And so when, they were, when these parties, who are just symbolic in name only, are withdrawing from the coalition that gives them a better chance of winning then that becomes a tr that, that, that that becomes troubling you know I always said it that Labraha Labra has a lot of political parties I think that it's a need for us to formulate laws and policy laws and policies that will try to curtail these political parties to make them to be able to work together on a political groupings. And uh, that's why I was encouraged. Not not so much that they 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 you know are coming together to defeat Josh We are government, but they are coming together so they can get strong political parties in Liberia. Like Ghana. They they, they have a lot of parties in Ghana. Like the United States, they have more than the Republicans and the Democrats in in uh, the United States. They had all other parties, but you have a two the two strongest parties, parties, the Republicans and the Democrats, that both are two heavyweights. They're like Tyson Fury and uh uh uh. Deontay Water, go in the ring. Those are two everywhere. Anybody can win. And so that's how the United States age. That's how uh, the two parties in the United States are. Even in Ghana, the two biggest political parties will always win, win elections in Ghana. I'm not saying that a, a third party won't win elections in Ghana or a third party won't win elections in the United States, but it's going to be difficult. So in Liberia's situation, in Liberia's situation, the reason I was the reason I'm so happy with the coalition, the collaborating political parties is, or I was happy with. Not that I like them so much, but once you have these groupings, and on one end, brother, they can trash out the political differences internally, and then they can go outside and face the force outside for them. But when you start to withdraw, like the LPP. Or there's a lot, Liberal Action Party, and other parties withdrawing from the CPC. And, the, the and now we hear information that these guys receive money from outside sources <laughs> to to engage uh, in ads that are intended to sabotage the Aboriginal political parties. Then it's troubling. Now you know. It's troubling the one thing. It's troubling because the Labrador people are sick of political parties. Many political parties. And so when we're giving them grounds to be you know, discouraged about you know, participation or participating in the political parties, then we should blame ourselves. If I say we, those who are you know, are trying to honor my, you know, the foundation of having strong political parties in Liberia should be ashamed of themselves. But this is one thing they should know, right?
this is one thing that you know. Liberians are not are not fools. They're not fools to the extent that they're not going to vote for for maybe the, the collaborating political party because they are collaborating political parties. Or they're not going to vote for Judge Weir because you have uh, a fragmented political parties you know, in the country. No. They are going to vote for people who have substance. People who are going to change their lives around. And with the um, multitude of political parties you have in Liberia, nobody's going to win the uh, Liberia elections in the first round. And you have to uh, work together. You got you to gotta build coalitions if you're not bad now, you will bear if you should go to the single round. I'm saying this to say that since 2000, uh, 2005, when I was in Liberia, the first elections, George Weah came 25, I think Ellen came 17, Brums came. I'm not that sure. Don't hope into that. But you had three three parties that were in a, on top. And uh, for George Weah to win, and so for Ellen Justice Ali to win, she had a big coalition. And, and George Weah had two big coalitions that... You know, went to the, the, the runoff election. Liberia will always have runoff elections. So for those who who think that who think that because the collaborating political parties are, are disintegrating, you know, that gives just we are the edge in the next elections, they, 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 they might be fooling themselves because uh Judge We are win or might win the elections based on what he accomplished and uh uh how he 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 catered to the needs of the Liberian people from now to the next elections, and the next the other parties can win the election. Liberian party, party most most especially so, those parties that did well in the past two elections, will still do well in the coming next in the coming elections. Like the Liberty Party and the ALP, the current Communist Party, they will still do well in the, in the next, next elections. But the, 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 the thing they got to understand is they all have to start to work together and form strong political groupings. Instead of like collab instead of saying collaborating political parties, they gotta merge now. They gotta merge and come up with strategy, not just to win the presidential elections, but come up with strategy how to win more seats in the House and in the Senate. And at local elections, maybe Municipal and, and the chieftains elections. That where that where the power that where the power is. But for us to see the guys all fighting, uh, we see all these things on uh, Facebook and WhatsApp. How people trying to undermine uh, the collaborating political parties and uh, people saying that the C CDC uh, give money money uh, money to people to go and undermine, you know to uh, to. to to, 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 to infiltrate this uh this uh on a collaborating political part is troubling but as i already alluded to the liberian people are not fools they are going to come out uh during the next elections and vote for people based on the substance and uh, based on what they have accomplished or what the intent what the vision is or what the visions are for the country i'm i'm, I'm i've been for the liberian party politics for a very long time since 2000, let's say since 1990, since 1986, and I've, I, I've seen how Labrun parties all disintegrate right after elections. Like the, the United Party, which I expected to be a formidable force, political force in Liberia, it's now like a it's like one of those smallest political parties in Liberia. Struggling. They broke. They led the country for 12 years. Like, just we are CDC stay in opposition for 12 years. Not only stay in opposition for 12 years, but they stay in opposition and they were a strong political party. Very strong political party. Contested all major, elect major elections. In that country, and so it becomes so so embarrassing that the Unity Party just left power, and they are struggling. Um, I I read something on Facebook, and you know, everybody now gets their news from Facebook, and they were saying that Unity Party was not, and it was unable to pay their 
their rent you know at their office space in Morovia. I don't know how that how true that information is, but don't don't, don't so don't hold me to that. But you know, it, it, the, you know the, 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 the UP is not a strong force anymore, and I think uh, for them to have a realistic chance of winning the next elections, they must all continue to work together, not just winning presidential elections, but for them to be relevant as a political institution, they need to work together. They need to work together. Instead of saying collaborating political party, they need to come to the uh, merge and form a merge and come up with new names. If you say I'm wrong, go back from two, from, two, from 1997, the election with Charles Taylor. Or maybe you can go back to the 1985 election, the election with Doe. And see how most of the political parties did in the elections. Most of them were not even able to win. They were unable to win 5% or more in the Liberian elections. Then you come to 2000 and, uh, 2005. First, 19, let's go to 1997, when Charles Taylor won the election by almost 75%. So that's the thing. Seventy-five percent. All the political parties, some of them get zero point one percent, some of them one percent, some of them two percent. They were not even able to get, you know, more than four five percent in the in the in the vote. So when they want to disintegrate the, the, the collaborative uh, political parties for their own selfish games, they are like poor looking. They are not fool. They are looking. And. They are going to vote, as I already said, for the people who they believe have uh, 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 their best interests at heart. You know, my advice to uh, all these political parties is to start thinking different. It's to start doing their own internal polling and see whether they can win elections all by themselves. Do your own internal polling and say, in the United States, maybe you uh, you can maybe set up a exploratory committee and see how you're going to do, or do your own polling, as I said, and see how you're going to make it, whether you can make it all by yourself. I see if you have 20, 25 political parties, it's going to be half of one part of the 150 plus 1% 1 of the votes. So the only way you can do it is to collaborate with other political parties to give you a real chance winning the elections for winning the elections but when we continue to do the same we will always come back and have the same results 1997 I think was the first time and it will be the only time that anybody will win Liberia's elections in the first round I can say this there will be nobody who will win Liberia elections in the first round from now on going forward. Nobody. So my advice to the collaborating political party is to stick together. To stick together and participate in all elections as a group. And maybe later on you say you say a collaborating political party, you can merge from a merger. It be a strong political force, not just for the coming elections, but for, 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 for many elections to come. Thank you very much for watching me on uh, the Marvel point of view. I hope uh, you guys are doing well. Everybody is staying safe uh, from this COVID. Um, we know this single round, especially in the United States, this single round of uh, they say Omicron virus is very killing. It's very, let's say, making people sick. If you're not already getting your vaccine, I, I advise you, I encourage you to get your to get vaccinated and uh, and uh, do all you can to not keep yourself safe, but keep other people around you safe. Uh, have a great day. I will talk to you next week. Bye-bye uh, for now.